no for like the conference at E3. I doubt they'll talk about the Vita. Highly. Doubt oh yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree. I I I I fully agree. Now our next topic at hand, something that I and you and I talked about on what's on tap, um, and we're both we're both very very happy that is happening. Uh, this was reported off of. Oh, this is oh no, it's actually a. Uh, I think it's just a. Yeah okay no it's is off of Microsoft. Windows I was like, Central. it doesn't matter where it was reported. It was yeah. reported the same everywhere. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this was written by, no, this, uh, yeah, uh, Jez Corden. Uh, Microsoft's new Xbox controller design for accessibility leaks ahead of that reveal. Although this was, this is prior to the leak. But the, more importantly, uh, this, this is a, this is this is awesome. Uh, Microsoft is known for championing inclusion and accessibility causes, bringing gaming and other Microsoft services to those who have various types of accessibility needs. Recently, uh, Leakster, uh, H-O-X-O-D, discovered promo images of an unannounced Xbox controller, which we've he uh, heard has designed around accessibility needs, and will likely get a bigger reveal somewhere between now and E3. At this point, it happened a few days ago. Um, while we don't have any details about how it works, um, exactly, you can see the image that is how it is groove impressions, the top of the, which represents all of the Xbox controller different functions, which would help users uh, who favor touch over sight to program different buttons uh, and two large A and B buttons, which are presumably programmable. Um, I should have got a more, more most current up to date article, but more importantly, good on Microsoft. This is a fantastic device that they are making uh, that will soon be out for the, for the public. Um, devices like these, they are usually pretty expensive and the fact that yeah. Microsoft put it out there for a cheaper value, um, and also with the mind of helping disables, uh, people, disabled people, people, um, it's awesome. It's, it, it's freaking awesome what they're doing. Yeah. There's, I mean, like you look at that device, the, the, the rectangle thing and you kind of examine it on all angles you can see how how much is inside the capabilities of that device and the fact that again like you said they're making it marketable is is, is really neat um uh the important thing to keep in mind on all this is that like a lot of games out there like uh, a lot of games require a lot of dexterity, um, but there's a lot of games that don't. The games that don't are still not being able to be played by people who have disabilities because the controller is designed for a specific type of player. Yep. This eliminates that problem. I if I have a friend who can't play physically or somebody that can't play physically. And I want to play the new Stardew Valley on my Xbox with them because they have a multiplayer now. Well, they will. It's in beta on PC, but we, you know, it'll console, whatever. Um, I'm going to get to play with them in that game. And that game isn't like, it's not a high dexterity level, but they could play it. Um, I will say, I'll also say this, Anthony, I'm excited for the idea of somebody with a disability playing with this controller at Evo. I can see it happening too. Yeah. You, you know, what's going to happen. Oh, definitely. I think so. Uh, actually yeah, there might be, uh, there is this player that, um, uh, who's a really good street fighter player. Uh, oh. his name is Broly legs and he, is disabled in the way he plays fighting games with his mouth and with his tongue. And he has like these two picks, which he will put in his mouth so he can use the controller. Um, and That's amazing. And he's really, really good at the game. Um, so yeah, I can definitely see people do uh, using it at Evo. I could definitely see this being um, not only very helpful. Just, oh, go ahead. Yeah, there's there's just so many cap like options and capabilities now for for people who don't have the same dexterity as everybody else. You know, when I hold this controller, it's a Switch controller, it's with the, the, the Pro controller. But when I hold it, I have two thumbs. I can press buttons, right? It's it's not it's not like it's difficult for me. 
But imagine somebody who can't use their fingers and their hands are just like this, you know, and they have to, they have to do different, they have to do other things or they don't, they don't have the ability to use their arms and they can only use their feet. This gives them that option. It's just like, we could gush about it for another fucking five minutes about how cool it is. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know that a, anybody out there would be, Hold on. Uh, Valer says, it's also a standard for those devices. They just plug into the back, which really opens up like crazy. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. And I think that's 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 the thing that's so cool is that it's it, this is not an expensive device, whereas mm. others are. So. Agreed, agreed. Yeah. Uh, we getting that, that, nothing else uh, to say other than the fact that Microsoft might be doing some good stuff over there. So. Yeah, well done. I mean, I can't say more. I can't praise it more. Mm -hmm. I'm totally, totally for it. I... I I, I not only am I appreciative of it, but I'm sure the others are too, so. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, so moving on to our next topic at hand, and I need to open up this other window now. Okay, awesome. So where's my topic? Topic four. Topic four. All right. 